Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is going to be the Stranger Ipsy unboxing number two. If you don't know what's going on with that, definitely go check out my last vlog to see what's up with that and it'll explain everything. But so pretty much I immediately went and bought a second one of these bags because I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. So here we are, I have another one. Let's get into it. I'm really excited to see what's in this one because the last one was so good, but I feel like that might set my expectations a little bit high so go ahead and get into this box and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you give this video a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated but yeah well, let's get into it it definitely looks exactly the same as the last one um so there's not much to explain there let's just rip right into it <laughs> the stuff that was in the last box um the fluffy pillowy stuff um a lot of it so besides the fluffy stuff, it looks like we got some stuff going on in here, so let's get into it. Okay, so the last one didn't come with the paper, so I'm probably not expecting this one to come with the paper, but honestly, I don't care. Okay, so the first thing we have is definitely some kind of mask. Um, oh, it is all in a different language, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to read. Um, so this is the brand. It's a gold fit mask. I've never heard of such. Oh wait, no, this is the brand up here. ID, I've never heard of that. But um, that kind of looks scary a little bit. I don't know, like. So I'm just gonna go off her motions. Okay, by her motions, it basically says that to apply to clean skin, leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, there's something about a wet cloth on my face that just doesn't sit well. I just, I'm not a big fan of sheet masks, but I'm sure this is a very nice one. This thing looks, um, pretty interesting. Oh, oh, I found some English. I found some English. It says, whitening care, anti-wrinkle. Whitening? What? Gold mask that gives, gold mask that gives elasticity to the entire face. I'm not too sure about that. I'm definitely gonna have to give that a try, but. Okay, moving on to the actual bag, so. It looks like a bag that I got before. I almost thought it was one of the bags I've received before, but it's actually a different texture. Um, Cause I have got one of the green ones for Christmas before, but it's actually different. So once again, if you have seen this specific ipsy bag please comment down below and let me know when it was from Ooh, okay so the first thing we have is a hemp infused oh, I like hemp infused anything be calm I need to be calm um, this is a patch this is called the good patch um, it has one patch in it um, is it a, just like a patch you're supposed to slap on and it, time to unwind and decompress. This transdermal patch is complete with premium hemp extract and other natural ingredients. Fill and place on inside of wrist. Okay. Hence the use of menthol has been known to temporarily relieve minor aches and pains of muscles and joints, la di da -dee. I love how it says on the bottom, does not contain THC. <laughs> Made in the USA, that's nice. Okay, so that's something new to try. I'll definitely slap that thing on me and let, let you guys know what happens if I become calmer. So the next item is, what is this? No, it's a, Natural Ecos. It just says, um... Creamy soap bar. It literally smells like hotel soap. Like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm sure it's a great soap. Our vegan, we use fair trade biodiversity ingredients from the Amazon. Not Amazon.com, but like the Amazon. Okay, just the creamy soap bar. I'm not gonna lie, it really smells strongly just like hotel soap. Like, but, again, I'm not mad about it because you know in these, 
ipsy bags we get more than five items so oh here we have the world's tiniest nail file um i could definitely use those because i'm trying to get this gel crap off my nails right now but um it's very tiny um that's cute i guess okay the next thing is a squeezy tube. Um, I'm guessing this is a three. Or is it upside down? I don't know. But it's um, from the brand Verso. It's a nourishing cream with niacinamide. Oh, that smells good. I mean, it smells like a... It smells like it's going to be a very like deep nourishing cream, which is... That's what it says. It's a nourishing cream. But you can really smell that cream. I don't know. Um... It's not very fragrant, but I'm sure this is a fancy brand or something. I don't know. Okay, the next thing we have... Ooh, what is this? Lottie London Oil Slick Nourishing Lip Oil. Okay. We got a Lottie London um, setting powder in our last Ipsy bag. So, um, definitely interested to try another one of their products it is an oil slick mini in the shade peachy cheeks so I'm really excited to see that because I actually love lip tints I might actually just throw it on my lips right now just to see what it smells like and I've never used Lottie London products before besides the translucent powder that I received literally two days ago excited to see what this looks like because all of the lip tints that I have um, are not peachy shades. They're more of like a rosy shade or like a pink reddish shade. So I'm kind of excited to see if my lips turn um, peachy. Let's see. Oh, there's still some plastic. Okay. It smells like peaches. It smells like peaches. Okay, that's an oil slick. It's slick. I mean, slippery. Excuse me. It's slippery. It's very... It's very oily. Um, I'm just excited to see what color it turns my lips so. Okay, next product, um, looks like we have a makeup brush, okay, from the brand La Rouge, La Rouge, I'm not really sure, but it looks fancy, Ooh. okay, um, I don't typically use these brushes because I'm, ooh, I, ooh, I like the handle on that, it has like this grippy, like silicone feel to it. I've never seen a brush like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I don't typically use these brushes just because they, I think these are brushes to like really compact color on. Um, I need more of a fluffy brush because I'm not accurate and I, I don't know how to do eyeshadow. So I need just kind of a, you know, a quick swift, but if I ever do decide to put like pigmented eyeshadow on, this would be a nice brush. Okay, the next item we have is Radial, oh, Dragon's Blood, oh my gosh, I, I made that scent in one of my candles, um, like a couple months ago, it was on my website, Dragon's Blood Eye Mask, Hydrate and Tone, Tone Your Eyes, you supposed to tone your eyes, I don't know about that. Puffing Biocellulose Eye Mask. Okay, that's different. I'm hoping that it smells like dragon's blood. If not, I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm sorry if the balloon is bothering you and it's moving around. It's because the air condition just came on and those balloons said we're not going anywhere for a long time. Item we have. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this brand, first of all. Um, I have their hair oil and I got it in a sample from something else and I fell in love with it. It smelled so good and it made my hair so soft. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit, but um, 
This is a detox shampoo um, for all hair types. I am so excited to use this. Um, and it's only one fluid ounce, but that's my hair is really thin. And honestly, if it's a detoxing shampoo, you might only need it every couple weeks or so. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, because this says it's concentrated shampoo with apple cider vinegar will deeply cleanse away dirt, oil, and purities. So this is something to detoxify your scalp and your hair. Oh, there's a seal in there. Awesome. I wanted to smell it, but um, actually I'm going to go ahead and smell it because I know I'm about to use this. I was like, uh, but I'm going to use it, so I'm going to open it. <laughs> Yes, it has that same smell as the hair oil, so I'm going to be excited to try this on top of my hair oil. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now we have 11 items. If I did the math wrong, I'm going to feel really stupid, but I'm pretty sure it's 11 items. Okay, so the next item we have it looks like a eyeliner and lock it I've never heard of that brand um, just the waterproof pencil eyeliner which I do like a waterproof pencil eyeliner so let's go ahead and smudge that okay okay that's a good one that's actually a really good one um, I kind of did it in different spots so that's why I looked like that but I just wanted to see how heavy-handed you had to go with it let me see how it smudges out. And it smudges out nice. It doesn't smudge down. See that? That's nice. I mean, I rubbed that pretty hard and it's still there. So, so the very last item we have is, ooh, it's in bubble wrap. So that means it must be something good. Save the best for the last. Oh, this is cute. So this is some type of eyeshadow trio. Look how cute. I love the packaging. Absolutely love the packaging. Um, these colors though. Oh, um, I mean, hey, it's a, it's a it's Halloween. Love Craft Beauty. Um, I guess that's the brand. Um, I've never heard of it, but yeah, it just says eyeshadow trio. Um, and the eyeshadow trio is in the color, or they're naming it Forest Beat, okay? Because those are some green shadows for sure. Look at them babies. Oh my goodness. Now, I do like this, um, kind of, uh, oh, they're really buttery. I, ooh, they're really buttery and pigmented whoa are you serious I love me a good shade like this base for under my eyebrow for um, a good transition shade but as far as the greens go um, I'm gonna have to be feeling pretty feisty um, or maybe you know on uh, Halloween or Christmas so uh, you know what uh, for the sake of the video. But I don't have any foundation on, so it's gonna look super bad. Like, just slap some green eyeshadow on top of a completely bare face. Let's do it. Want to? Okay. Which one should I go for? I know y'all are like, neither, 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 but I'm about to do this. Let's try it. It's like, it's giving the bag shade. <laughs> um, I do love the packaging of this. It's so freaking cute. I'm actually in love with that. Um, okay, we're just gonna go for it. Um, we're gonna go with this dark green and we're just gonna start a... I just don't want to look like I have a bruised eye because I don't have any makeup on too late oh oh my god it's it, it's definitely not as dark as I thought if I want to pack it on I probably could but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna kind of do, do 
and see what happens. Oh my holy bejesus. Oh, I'm embarrassed right now. Um, I don't know how to do eyeshadow and um, okay, since we already went there, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this glittery shimmery shade and pop it right on the eyelid. Okay, now that I made a complete fold myself. In this vlog here, I really hope you guys enjoy watching me unbox this. Let me know if you want to see me unbox another one, because I'll do it. You know I will. I enjoy filming these, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of these type of videos and if you want me to keep doing them. I will also leave the affiliate link down below again. Definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys!